Hello, my name is Scott, and today I'll be showing you how to make nunchucks. Well, nunchucks are pretty easy to make, and if you have any nunchucks and you're wanting to strike with them, you know, practice actually striking, hitting, you know, a makawara, a post, a, you know, another person, a bow, bang bows, whatever you want. If you're used to striking with one, you have to actually hit with one, which means if you have your good set of nunchucks and you don't want to break them, you have to do it. I mean, you have to practice. So, how do you do that without being at the expense of buying new nunchucks if you break them? It's pretty simple. I have created my own set of nunchucks. They're pretty simple. Here is uh, the mid project. So, I can't show you the actual makings, but it's pretty simple, so uh, ex explanation should be plenty. So, you got your uh, nunchucks, right? You want to, that you want to make. If you have uh, a broom, an old broom, or just simply go to Walmart or Home Depot or wherever you like to go to buy uh, a broom handle. Okay, I know that sounds weird, right? That's all this is. Okay, it was a broom handle. I know what I had. I decided, you know, I didn't need it. I decided to cut it up. I cut both of them, two sticks at 12 inches. That's how long I want my nunchucks. It can be anything. If you're making them for a child, 8 inches, 10 inches. If you're making it for an adult, 12 to 14. 14 is more large. Okay, you want it to be just a little bit down your arm. You don't want it to cover your whole arm like a sigh or a tonfa, but enough where if you're holding them, you can actually strike with them. Okay. So, I got mine at 12. With uh, a typical broom handle, I was able to make four sticks, two sets of nunchuck out of a uh, broom handle. So, I cut them up into 12 inches each. Okay, so I got this. Now I took this and I then sanded it down and made my rounded edges. As you can see, it's kind of rounded. This is simply just for handling, so if I grip or something like that, I don't cut myself on a sharp, flat edge. Pretty simple to do. I used a really uh, coarse grit sandpaper, and that helped a lot because I was able to get it down. Just took it and sand it really quick. I was able to do all four sticks, you know, two sets of nunchucks, start to finish with the, the holes drilled, sanding, cutting a broom, everything within uh, less than an hour. So, and now that I'm more experienced, it probably take a lot less than that. So, have some fun with it, right? So, once you got it cut and you got it sanded and curved, uh, you know, the edges the way you want it. I had a press, or just a, a simple press that, you know, clamp, I had it on a bench. I just clamped it down. Then I took me a drill bit. You know, make a pretty good size drill bit. I don't know the actual measurements to this, but it's it, almost a quarter of an inch thick. Because the nunchuck should be about an inch thick, the whole uh, stick. So, about a quarter of an inch. And you get your... Uh, holes drilled. It's pretty simple to do. Just uh, mark your holes one inch down for the top one and then one inch down from that to make your second one. That's the traditional how you do it. That way you get a good sturdy uh, stick that you can uh, straight. That way it doesn't break. So I clamped it down. I drilled my two holes. Drill these first. Then you have the top hole. Yeah, I know it's not quite the center, but it, it works, right? It, it doesn't have to be dead on because it's not going to be an exact science. Like I said, this, this is what it's for. It's for practice, strikes, miscellaneous. It's not for your performance nunchucks you're going to take to a tournament. It could be if you want, obviously, but not intentionally what I was making the video for. So, take your seal with a clamp. Just take your drill and you drill it in. You make sure you drill to the first hole. Make sure you see the drill bit hit because you need it to go all the way through so you can lace it. Okay, so once you get it here, you pull the drill bit out, and before you get all the way out, you just take it and you round off the drill. Okay, it'll make this little like divot here. You see that? That's simply to where you're when you're swinging your nunchucks, the string doesn't catch on something sharp and cut. This helps prevent that. So once you get these done, sand it down really good. Sand the tips down, sand it, you know, sides down. Make sure the holes are all nice. Now you're ready to string. Because now you have two. Okay? If your second one, you have two. Now you're ready to string. I have a video on how to string nunchucks, how to repair nunchucks, so please re you know, review that video and it'll show you how to string them. It's 
pretty simple process. You string them the same way. Uh, I was only able to string with one set, so I'd have two strings in between. Instead of four, I prefer. Um, after making them, I found out how to do that. So it's as simple as once you got your drill, all your dr holes drilled, you take your drill and you put it at an angle going up into the top hole. So you're kind of going up like this. Okay, the whole reason for that is so you can string it down and through. Right now it's kind of hard because it's got that little hole at the top. So that would be my only suggestion to modify from what I have. Um, it's not necessary because I'm able to use the nunchucks with just the one set across as opposed to double. It's not a big deal. You just need to watch out for more fraying because if it starts to fray, change it immediately because it will break sooner and faster if it's only got two as opposed to four. So, you got this. You string it. Okay. There's a couple things you need to do to your nunchucks beforehand. You either uh, stain it, which I like to do because it's wood. And if you're practicing and handling all, all that, it needs to be toughened up. Stain will help do that. Also help protect the wood so it doesn't break. So it doesn't fray, but so it doesn't rut, or not rust, pardon me. So it doesn't warp. All this good stuff, right? So stain it. Stain it any color you want. You can get any kind of wood color. I prefer to stain my black. The set I have, I want to show you, I stain black. The reason for that is because I was going for the black thing, but you can paint them as well. So if you are, I say, a pair of red nunchucks, for example, or blue, make them blue, make them red, whatever. You know, if you like blue, make them blue. So it doesn't matter. Paint will be just as good. Just make sure you let it cure, let it dry really well. So now you've got them painted, you string them up. Once you got them strung, you're done. As simple as that. Here's a pair that I've already uh, created to show you. They're all black. I use black stain to stain and mark the wood black. Here's my strings that I did. Now, this is a thing that I do that I haven't really seen anybody else do, but I don't know why it's extremely useful and it works extremely well. I did this before I started making my nunchucks. This is something I've used for years. What I do is I just simply take the wood part of the nunchucks and I take my wrap and I wrap it. Also, a video on how to wrap weapons. This is the same thing. The reason I do this, I get a good grip. Especially on these wood ones. I sand it down really well, but for some reason, it's not getting good grip. It's still kind of slick. That's probably because I was using a too fine grain of sandpaper, which I can't imagine because it's pretty rough. So I don't know why, but when I got it done, it was still pretty slick and I was having trouble handling it, so I was like, you know what, I'm just going to go ahead and wrap it like I do with my other ones. So I wrapped it, and that's what this is. It's excellent for striking because it, it you know, it makes your wood, part of your uh, nunchucks harder and they could withstand more because they're now wrapped. So that's it, guys. Finished product. Hope this helped. Go out make you a ton of nunchucks for an extremely cheap price. The whole project, string, wrapping, you know, stain, which I already had because I had a other project I did that was with black. Everything. It was just basically the wood for the handle, which I found. I had an old one. But if you went and bought it, we're talking four nunchucks for the price of one broom handle, which is like four, four or five dollars. It's not that expensive at all, guys. So go make some nunchucks. Have fun.